Man, it's been a while, guys. It has been a while since I sat in front of this camera and done this, man. But I got to be obedient, man. I got to share what God has laid on my heart to share with you guys out there. Even if it be just one person that receives this. Because, man, I got a testimony, man. I got a testimony from God. I got a testimony about the power and the unction of the Holy Spirit if we would only listen to him. So this is how the story goes. I'm going to try to make this video as quick as I possibly can, but I'm just going to need some time. So here we go. I wake up Saturday morning. You know, I have to be at the barber shop. So I wake up Saturday morning and um, I made a habit to uh, when I got saved to start praying and asking God, you know, put me on people's path. To, if not, allow me to share your word with somebody, allow somebody to share their word with me, then it may encourage me. So I woke up that Saturday morning before I started up my truck. You know, uh, I prayed. I just asked God, Lord, could you put me on somebody's path today to share your gospel with? You know, allow me to share what you've done in my life with them, that it may encourage them and it may, you know, encourage them to stay on a narrow path that truly leads unto life. You know, and uh, I go to the barbershop. My son has a football game. We go to that. Avery has our first dance recital. We go to that. We come home that afternoon and uh, my wife. And her friend go up north to, you know, have a meal and, and share some quality time and uh and fellowship, you know, how the thing goes. So we outside playing about six, six thirty this afternoon, this same Saturday, and my son Kingston was like, Dad, can we go to the park? Most of the time I'd have been reluctant just because it was so late in the day, you know, it's the time of year where days are about to be shorter. And uh but for some odd reason, something in me, the Holy Spirit in me said go to the park. And this was out of my comfort zone because it was only 30 minutes before we got dark. So I changed Malachi, Kingston put on shoes, Avery put on shoes, uh, Kaysen put on shoes. I threw on a, a quick dad fit and we go to the park. We go to the city park here in Broken Bow, Oklahoma, if you're watching this out of state. So we go to the park and uh, as soon as we get to the park, we get in the park area, I say, y'all take our running. Go to whatever jungle gym you want to go to first. And if you know anything about the city of Broken Bow, they recently built a new jungle gym set and it's amazing kids love it parents love it it's just a good look for the city of broken bow so we get there and they're playing they're playing and all of a sudden it happens um this lady she sat on the opposite side of the park where you had to kind of look over to see where she was but you can tell she was there because the seating is so close to the jungle gym if a parent sat right there they will be able to see their kid playing you know even they try to wander off for whatever reason so um, she's sitting over there. Her name is Kim, by the way. If anybody want to pray for this lady, her name is Miss Kim. I call her Mrs. because she's old enough to be my mom. And um, Malachi is playing Malachi. If you know anything about my son Malachi, Malachi is a firecracker on two legs. He just he just loves life, man. It's amazing, man. He's a blessing from God. I'm, I thank God for him. So Malachi is doing his thing. He's, he's a two-year-old, so he's doing two-year-old things. And we all know how two-year-olds get. They do their thing. So he's playing, he's playing. All of a sudden, he go down the slide. And I was like, Malachi, slow down, bud. Slow down. Because his leg threw up over the slide. He could all oh, could have flipped out of the slide, really, because it scared him. I saw the look in his eye. So by that time, that lady that I referred to just a few moments ago, named Miss Kim, um, she said, um, are you a minister? And anytime somebody asks me that, I, I try to be as humble as I can possibly be because once somebody recognizes you as 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 a child of God, as 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 a as as a man of God, you you want to be a clear, transparent representation of Christ. Well, you make it about Christ and not about yourself. So I dropped my head and I was like, "Yes, ma'am, I am." She was like, "What well, a reason I asked you that because you called your son Malachi." She said, "That's a biblical name." I said, "Yes, ma'am, it is." She said, "Can I ask you why you named him that?" And I told her why I named her that. I can't tell you guys because it'll take away from this this testimony you know i want to stay on this this path god got me on on a flow like a river with the time i got left with you guys i said yeah i'll tell you why i named it that and i told her why and she said wow talk about a compliment from god she said that's amazing how god through the holy spirit told you why your wife bare another child in the womb and the name god picked out for you to name him i said yeah it, it was amazing man it's i said the bible the gospel of jesus christ is a love story and uh, I went back, my attention went back to my kids. Because like I said, I got three kids at a, at a city park. You have to be sharp as a razor blade to be able to keep your eyes on three kids at a park. Because they're all wired or they want to be everywhere at one time. So my attention went directly back to my kids. So I went back over and sat down and I'm watching them play. 
And the Holy Spirit spoke these words to me. He spoke one word to me. It was really two words. It was just a complete sentence if I want to be completely transparent. He said, you are on an assignment from God. I said, wow, really? He said, yes, you are. I said, who's the assignment? He said, that lady over there. And I looked at her. And as crazy as sound in the spiritual realm, I can see almost like she had a ticky tack piece of paper stuck on her shoulder. And the words, the words uh, spelled out an assignment. And all of a sudden, my kids are playing. I got all eyes on them. And the Holy Spirit focused my attention back on this lady named Miss Kim. So I walked over there as as, as quietly and as and as um humbly as I can. And I said, um, I said, you know, you asked me why I named my son Malachi. She said, Yeah, I did. I said, uh, well, you asked me something. Can I share something with you? She said, Absolutely. And I went on, I I I, I went on a teller. I said, you know, I wasn't born saved. I said, I wasn't born full of God's spirit. I said, man, God literally, through the power of the Holy Spirit, taught me how to make decisions that God had his hand in. I said, then God showed me and, and taught me how to have forward thinking. But I don't look at the things I used to do, but I press toward that high mark of that high calling in Christ Jesus. And I said, I tell you that to tell you this. I don't care what decision you've ever made in your life. I don't care whatever you whatever. I don't care what you've ever done. I said, Jesus Christ will forgive you. He will set you free. I said, the Bible says where sin abounds that much more, grace abounds more. And she opened her mouth, her mouth and she began to tell me, you know, I, she said, I used to be a Christian. She said, I can still see the love of God in people, people's eyes. And she went on to tell me, man, you should continue on in the way that you're going. She said, because the plan that God has for your life, you can't see the end of it now. But I promise you, if you would hold tight to his unchanging hand, God's going to do things in this world that nobody can do. Only God can do these things. And I went on to tell her, you know, and she went on to tell me, you know, I failed God so many times in my life. I failed him over and over and over again. And I went on to tell her, man, God will forgive you. I said, the Bible says that Jesus was made manifested to destroy the works of the devil. I said, so whatever you've done, God will forgive you for it if you don't only listen to that still small voice that leads you down that narrow path that leads unto life. And I went on to ask her, could I pray for you? And she allowed me to pray for her. And that situation ended. So the purpose of me uploading this video, the purpose of this testimony is to encourage anybody out there, man, if you fail God, if, if you've lived in sin, if, if you've fallen short of the glory of God, because let's just be honest, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. No one was born saved. No one was born perfect. It took a sinless person to go to an old rugged cross to pay a debt that we could not pay. So whoever you are out there, man, wherever you may be in life, maybe you've known Christ and you didn't walk away. Man, today is a day of salvation. If you've never known Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, today is a day that you repent. Today is a day that you cry out to God the Father in Jesus' name and ask God to rebirth you a second time for his glory so that he may write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Because the Bible declares that Jesus is coming back in the hour that we think not. So therefore, today is a day of salvation. Man, if you saved out there and you're born again in the spirit of God, you own an assignment from God. The Bible says that we're all called and commissioned by God, which means we're anointed by God, by the power of the Holy Spirit to listen to that still small voice and go and do things that God has called us to do. That was the only way I knew to go to the park. That was the only way I knew to share those things that God has done in my life with this lady named Miss Kim. It was because of the unction of the Holy Spirit of God in me. Allow me by the faith that I have in Jesus Christ to open my mouth and share boldness and share the things God has done in my life. And I encourage you to do the same. I thank you for tuning into this video. If you feel so led of the Spirit of God, share with anybody you come in contact with. Have a blessed day. And hopefully I'll see you soon. God is love and I'll see you next time.